Hi, my name is Shireen and I am a student at the University of Pittsburgh's Health Information Management Program, or HIM for short. So the reason why I picked this major is because I actually uh, originally wanted to be a nurse because I really wanted to, um, I love working with people, I wanted to be around patients, and I really just wanted to do something where I could help someone. I wanted to make a difference. And um, once I got to college, I realized that being a nurse probably wasn't the right fit for me, maybe just because I realized I'm really squeamish. So um, I, when I found HIM, or Health Information Management, I realized that it was a perfect major for me because uh, I'm still involved in the healthcare industry, except that I don't have to worry about dealing with patients or anything that would, like, blood or anything that would make me feel squeamish because it's kind of like the non patient side of healthcare. So we work behind the scenes really to um, make a hospital run, you know, make things run smoothly in the hospital, make sure everything is done in a quality way, like collecting information on patients and their um, medical records. Um, really, um, in, in the end, when you think about it, even though we work behind the scenes in a hospital, we really um, you know, make a difference in patients' lives because we make sure that their health information is kept secure and safe and it's quality information. That way it can really you know, benefit the patient in many ways. And, and another reason why I chose health information management as my major is because there are so many job opportunities available right now. They're, the possibilities are endless. Uh, right now, uh, the government has put aside millions of dollars in um, funding towards our healthcare, um, the health information, like the health informatics industry, uh, moving um, patients' medical records from paper to electronic medical records. And uh, that's a huge effort right now, you know, moving everything. That transition is so big. So it's opened up so many jobs right now. It's amazing. I know, you know, a lot of my classmates um, who've gone through the program have all come out with jobs. There's endless number of jobs, and it's really exciting to be able to receive job offers during your senior year, so it's, it's very exciting. So what kind of courses would you expect to take in a typical health information management program? Health information management is such an exciting major because it really encompasses a lot of different, you know, a lot of different fields, you know, to make our industry work. So not only is it healthcare, you need to have a healthcare background, uh, there's also business and management strategies that you need to learn. There's technologies that you need to learn. And, you know, all that kind of comes together to really make our health information management unique. Um, I took a lot of, um, as prerequisites, I had to take, like, biology and chemistry. I had to take some computer classes. I had to learn basic computer programming, very basic programming. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that you need to do to you know, be very well-rounded for our health information management major. Uh, once I actually got into the major, I had to take anatomy and physiology and pathophysiology. You had to take medical terminology. That way you really had an idea of different, you know, medical terms. That way you could understand, you know, the industry, the healthcare industry on its own. Um, I had to take certain HIM or health information management specific courses such as hospital reimbursement theories. I had to take a um, hospital coding, uh, like ICD-9 and ICD-10, those are different coding um, strategies that uh, are used to code medical records in a hospital. Uh, I had to take like an electronic health records course, and there's a lot of different things that, you know, are, are health information management specific that you also, you know, have to take as part of the classes. Um, the other really interesting thing is there's a lot of business courses uh, that you have to take for our major because management is a very important part of running a hospital. Uh, I had to take a human resources class, a human relations class. We had to take an organizational theory class. So that was really interesting, learning how organizations work and what, you know, goes into running, you know, a business, you know, the human side. That's important. It makes you very well-rounded. And finally, another thing, you know, very important aspect of the health information management curriculum is taking technology courses. We had to take a database class. We had to take um, basic computer programming. Uh, we learned all about different health information systems when we took our systems class. Uh, there's a lot of really different unique classes, but they all kind of come together to make you very well-rounded. I definitely say that my favorite aspect of the health information management major is the fact that 
the University of Pittsburgh's health information management major allows us to take, actually it's required, that we have to take four different clinical education experiences. And when I say clinical education, or CE for short, it means an internship. So um, actually included in our curriculum, you have to take four different internships. Uh, they're offered during four different semesters and what's really exciting and unique about our program is that they are assigned for you. So we have a clinical education coordinator in our program and she works very hard to find different unique educational experiences that you know would work well for health information management students for internship opportunities. So for each semester of your, during your health information management career, uh, you are doing a different internship. So the first internship or clinical education is CE1. And during that uh, internship experience, you're assigned to work in a hospital's health information management department. This is a good experience for uh, you know people just entering the health information management major because uh, it really allows you, you know, working in a health information management department to see you know, the traditional side of the health information management major. It's really important because not a lot of people when you're first starting out in the major really understand what really goes on in the health information management field. So it's great to see the more traditional route. Uh, during your second semester of your clinical education or your internship, you're exposed to different um, different uh, topics that you know you could come that you could see like in the real world once you've graduated. Like you have a human genomics uh, lecture, you have a database uh, lecture internship, you're working with people in the field to really see, you know, how they do it in the real world. It's, it's a really great experience. And um, your third, during your third semester in the health information management program, you have your third internship. And during that, uh, you're also taking a non-traditional health information management uh, course and that really introduces you to non-traditional things that you could be doing in the real world once you graduate that are still within the health information management realm. And so that internship for that semester goes hand in hand with that class. So you're doing um, an intern a different you're going to a different site every week and seeing, you know, what different non-traditional areas of the health information management field you could still work in. So it gives you a really great idea of you know what you want what you can do after you graduate that isn't really traditional. It's it's exciting to see, you know, there's so many different things you can do in this major. So it really uh, it, it's an eye opener. It's really exciting to see the different things that you could be involved in. And probably uh, your last your final clinical education or your final internship during the health information management program is your clinical education four. And personally that was my favorite one. Um, it happens your last semester of your senior year and you have a full um, six weeks of working full time um, at a site you're interning at this site full time um, Monday through Friday, nine to five. So 40 hours a week. It's, it's a great internship and it's a great opportunity for you to go to a site and really feel like you're working there as um, part of their staff. Uh, it really, you're exposed to a lot of different things and you really get an idea of what it's like to work in the real world. You're working with a lot of different health information management graduates who you have an opportunity to see you know what there is out there that you could be doing once you graduate and the other wonderful thing about that is a lot of times you you realize hmm I really like this job like I definitely could see myself doing this like I'm going to apply here after I graduate or you could say oh this isn't for me I think I want to go in a different direction so it really gives you an opportunity to see what what you want to do after you graduate, especially because it's done during your second your second semester of your senior year. So it's right before you're supposed to graduate. And the great thing is I know a lot of health information management students actually get job offers out of their your their um, final internships, you know, because they're working full time in the office. You know, your manager can see what you're capable of doing and they could say, Wow, I really want this person to be a part of my team. You know, they they really stepped up, they were a great internship, let's hire them. So that's a really that's another great perk. Overall, I'd say the clinical education experiences or internships for the health information management program are probably my favorite part just because really it's an amazing thing to put on your resume. So what advice do you have for younger students who are interested in joining the health information management major? You know, perhaps like if you're a high school student, I would say uh, definitely, you know, focus on doing your sciences. Definitely make sure you take a biology and a chemistry course. Uh, make sure you're familiar with different um, technologies like just make sure you're familiar with 
Microsoft Office, like especially Microsoft Excel and Access. Those are really great things you know, to have a handle on. You will definitely be taking all these classes again in college because, you know, they're definitely prerequisites into our health information management program. For example, you have to take biology and chemistry, you have to take a few different computer courses, but taking them in high school will definitely prepare you for when you have to take them in college. It'll make you definitely, it'll make it easier for you and it'll make the transition better because you'll have that knowledge in high school. So definitely, you know, brush up on your sciences and your computer technology courses if you can. Um, I would also say you can maybe even volunteer in a hospital if you want. There's, you know, I don't, you don't have to at all, but, you know, for me, when I was in high school, I volunteered at our local hospital and just working in a hospital, number one, it got me excited, you know, about working in a healthcare industry. It was really exciting to be there, involved, and to see everything and see how things work in a hospital. But it also, you know, introduces you to different, you know, how hospitals run. And that's great because you'll get that experience now and, you, you know, it'll make it easier to understand how things work once you enter our health information management program.